Hello, welcome to another vlog. Yes, I'm in my PJs. <clears throat> my voice is a lot better, but still not perfect. This is how I look first thing in the morning. And look what I've done to my hair. I put some purple in it last night, yesterday, because I felt a bit invisible. So, um, yes, my neighbour who I went out for lunch with got the shock of his life. He said, oh, you've got a purple rinse. Anyway, so many of you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for your lovely, lovely comments about my auntie. And I'm sorry I can't fly out, but obviously I can't, I was there in May. I knew it was going to be the last time I saw her. I just had the seventh sense, isn't that weird? So I'm so glad I went. So thank you to Jack because I might not have seen her if I had gone at the original time I was planning to go. Um, that's a long story, but yes, mm, family issues. So it was the perfect, perfect, perfect timing and she was so well. Um, yes, don't I look horrific? You see, it all depends on the light. Um, I'm now going to show you how well I looked yesterday because it was that golden afternoon light. Right, first outing in a week. I'll show you the food when it comes. Ray, my lovely friend and neighbour, and I are the other side of the South Downs at a beautiful old pub awaiting Sunday lunch at four o'clock in the afternoon. Right, here's a little, while well, Ray's having a sneaky cigarette, I can't risk it with my voice. I'll just show you the beautiful garden. Oh, I think the staff are happy. Soon be over. Hard to believe it's October. It's as hot as summer. We should have brought little Jack. He's going to give me hell. That looks really nice, actually. It's gorgeous <laughs> light. It's so flattering. It's beautiful. I'm wearing what I wore. Oh, Th that's perfect. The, the uh, cheap sandals. It's the cheap sandals that were like two quid. Is there something about the bag? On vintage and pre-loved <laughs> from Cornwall. That's a really nice bag. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> and it's leather. That's second hand. And it was like nine quid from Cornwall. Wow. Thank you, Ray. Do you want me to stop it? Bless you, yes. Look at this, folks. Look at this. The honeysuckle's out. It's October. Look at all these flowers out now, budding. They shouldn't be budding in October. That was the first time I've been out since I came down with laryngitis and the bad back. The back's much better. Um, the osteopath said it's all muscular. Thank the Lord. Um, and yes, thank you for all your recommendations for shoes. He, he reckons Skechers, which I adore, are one of the best. It was just too hot there. So I will follow your advice and look at sandals for the next hot trip when I'm walking miles. Um, but I'm taking it easy. I'm not doing my proper exercise regime anymore um, till it's completely happy. It's just slightly stiff, stiff. You see, I can do that. I can do that. Ow, that hurts a bit, lower back. But it's mostly in my hips. And weirdly, hello, Linda, my best mate in America, Linda, who is the fittest woman I know. She's three years younger than me. The, you saw her, we met in London, fittest person I know, um, she's run marathons, I've only walked them, she's um, quite athletic, she's really slim, um, and she was in Savannah, cobblestones, and she was wearing the perfect shoes, the right shoes, she's also got a bad back and bad hips, so sorry girls, I think it's an age thing, but and she was doing 18,000 steps a day, and I was doing about 15, 16,000 steps a day. So I think my lesson learnt is less is more. You want to know what I eat in a day as well? Well, I will show you my breakfast um, and I will show you what I've got to do today. I've already taken Jack out for a short walk. I've answered all of you on YouTube and um, 
I've got to do my accounts today. So a really boring day. Right, here's my breakfast. It's very difficult to film while I'm doing things. So let's just put my seeds, Lynn seeds. My favourite. Oh my goodness. My bowels love it. Sorry to be so descriptive. Um, I add MCT powder, which gives you energy, collagen and bone balance for my bones, which I'm trialling. So I'll keep you posted on all of that. And in there are blueberries and Brazil nuts, walnuts and most importantly, macadamia nuts. Very expensive, but very low on the glycemic index. Right now, let's show you the oh, kitchen's not too messy. What's going on there? Mm, no, Jack, by the way. Oh, dear, I've got the washing on the chairs. Please excuse me. Uh, Jack is upstairs, fast asleep with a nappy on. Anyway, this is what I'm tackling on Monday. That great big filing tray full of crap that has to be turned into my annual accounts. Doesn't take me long once I crack on, have good music and just concentrate. Um, and this, right, I've decided there's so many goodies to look at. I'm going to wait till I'm in the mood and try them all before I share. Otherwise, it'll be all day watching me applying eye makeup that just looks crap at the end of it. So I will show you the finished result if it looks really lovely. Well, the hair looks better now. And the... Oh, I haven't put any blusher on. I've been so... Re... Well, it's Monday, isn't it? And I did dress up yesterday, as you saw. Look, I've had my nails done. The trouble is, I went for red toenails and now I feel like I'm doing this whole... Can you see them? There you go. I feel like I'm doing this whole... Oh dear, see how stiff my hips are still? Normally I can do that. Um, I feel like I've got the whole Christmas vibe going on. I love that colour. And as you know, I do wear a lot of green. Anyway, yes, all I want to say was I've done a lot of viewing, so I want to compare notes. Beckham on Netflix, stunningly brilliant. One of the best things. Again, Netflix and Apple TV. I hardly watch anything else anymore because they produce such amazingly good programmes. Um, I met him when he was 19, Q Pictures, um, with his mum and dad at an Adidas shoot. He had just been appointed to Manchester United and just been signed up by Adidas. Thoroughly recommend it especially if you like football because there were loads of matches and I'd forgotten what an amazing footballer he was, um, still is, and but such a lovely man and she came across really well as well. Um, I just loved it. Uh, but what was I going to say? Yeah, the football was astounding. He was treated so badly by some of the managers. Um, I'd love your thoughts if you've seen it. Such a lovely, lovely, lovely man. Um, and the other thing I've got back into, but I've missed a series and I don't know where it went. Lupin, L-U-P-I-N, French, a French thief. Do you remember me wittering on about Lupin a couple of years ago? I saw the first series up to when his child was abducted. Never saw the second series. And then the third series appeared on Netflix. I think it was Netflix. Um, and I binge watched the whole lot over the weekend. No, Friday and Saturday. And um, I'm completely confused by the ending. So I'm going to have to go back to series two now because I think I've missed a big chunk. I had to look it up online. But it is stunningly made and stunningly brilliant. Um, it's, it's subtitles because it's all in French. But my God, it's good. And the third thing I've seen on Netflix is How to Live to 100. Um most of it I knew because I had to do matters of research for Alternative Ageing, the book. So let me know if you've got Alternative Ageing, the book. Um, so I was doing this research about 20 years ago about the blue zones. So not too much that I didn't know about, except how it's changing now as the kids are eating more and more fast foods, what their secrets to longevity are, depending on where they are all seems to have a lot to do with community 
and moving every day, not going to the gym, moving, walking up really steep hills, moving. So I'm glad I do that every morning with Jack. And we might do it twice today, Jack, walk up those hills, seems to make people live a long time. Wine was one of them on a Greek island. Diet obviously had a lot to do. Some were vegetarians, some weren't. Um, locally produced was very much a key. Fascinating. So do let me know if you're watching any of those. I love to know what everyone's watching. So that's it for now. What am I doing tomorrow? Oh, boring accounts. And I was supposed to go to Pilates. No, it's so it's just boring accounts tomorrow. But hopefully longer walks and more sunshine because I've missed all the beautiful weather today. So see you tomorrow. I forgot to take you to the nail lady, Alex, yesterday. It's first thing again. So no makeup. I will dress up for you one day. I promise this week. I've still got a cough. <clears throat> it's loosening up now, though. I wonder if I had COVID. It's been going on a very long time, hasn't it? But I haven't been feeling too ill. Anyway, I'm taking you on our first thing in the morning walk. And because I mentioned the blue zones yesterday, um, I do the same walk every day when I have the energy and when little old man has the energy to go up a very steep hill, which is round the block. That is what they had in common on the programme, How to Live to 100. Uh, they walked a lot of hills. So I'm hoping this will help my longevity if my chest survives. <laughs> We're quite late this morning, it's eight o'clock. Everyone's out and about and it's still lovely and warm. Right, he's going to stop a lot. There's the hill. camera's completely distorting this. It's not sunrise, it's eight. Isn't that gorgeous though? Now you can see how steep it is. It's very misleading on this camera. Oh look, there's a sign of autumn fall. That last, at last it's on its way. Meanwhile, there are things budding all over the place that shouldn't be budding. Nearly home. Gosh, it's not half as golden in real life. Right, this is our corner. This is where we live. I hope you've all seen the video of the tour around the house. Cottage by the sea. There we are. And look at that view of the sea. It's not very tight. Well, I think the kitchen's tidy. So, Jack, have you had your pill? I can't remember giving him his pill. Do you ever do that? Oh, you can't see the sea. Everything's misted over. So there's my coffee. Um, because of blood sugar levels, I've had some kefir and a few nuts first thing before I have my proper breakfast later. And we're going back to bed, aren't we, Jack? Jack? He has a little sleep and I do my work. He's got breakfast upstairs. He hasn't finished, but he loves these. They're pretend sausages. Yes, darling, do you love them? Are they your favourites in the whole world? Right, you have it upstairs. <gasps> You've not eaten your pill. Look what he does. Spits it out when I'm naughty boy, aren't you? You'll have to have it later now. Because it has to be on an empty stomach. That's why we go for the walk. Ten minute wait. Naughty boy. I'm just interrupting whatever I'm interrupting to <clears throat> show you one, a little purchase from Zara. How cute is this? Because I thought I was going to Portugal at the end of the month but I've now had to postpone it. Um, just not enough money. Everything's so expensive, flights, hotels, everything. So I'm leaving it till nearest, nearer Christmas. Um, 
had my hair done today, so I've had a nice cut. I'm not going to style this up, but whoever was the only person on YouTube who agreed with me that these trousers were way too baggy, I've had them taken in. Look how much better they are. <clears throat> I'm really pleased with these. They're proper awesome trousers. I, I just thought if it was warm, which it isn't, it's bitter today. I don't know when you're watching this, which part of the vlog I'm putting it in, but we've basically gone <clears throat> from summer right into winter with about two days of autumn. It is bizarre. Um, but aren't they better? Sorry, aren't they better? I thought they were way too baggy. They're very awkward because of these pockets. Now, is that t-shirt? Let's do the French thing. There we go. How's that? Might put a gold chain on. I'm going to style this up. Obviously, when my hair settled, um, ooh, that doesn't look very good, does it? So I'll do a I'll do a proper styling styling when my hair's not just been blown and dried. And I've had an extra new piercing, so I've now got three little holes for my ears. I had it down at the club. I belong to. Anyway, most importantly, apart from showing you how much better my trousers are turned in and this pretend suede jacket, which was so cheap, it's going to be perfect for Europe, um, autumn, spring, Look, because it's nice and light, um, but smart. Well, I like it. It's very mod looking, isn't it? I'm having a bit of a, a, love, a love in with mod clothes at the moment. They're vintage. Um, anyway, I had a facial today at Lane's in Brighton and I met the owner, Jules. Hello, Jules, if you're watching. And um, because I had a bit of a reaction to the Jan Marini peel, there's a lot of people now saying retinol's not that brilliant. It breaks down your skin. It can leave it very thin. And Jules said that has happened to her. I must ask Dr. Ahmed about this. But less is more again. I was doing it nearly every night because I've been using it for years and my skin had got so thin, it was really easily bothered. Anyway, this is the result of gentle exfoliation, Medicate, one of my favorite brands. She did it, um, Jo did it manually for me, followed by radio, fre radio frequency treatment, which, lifts and got rid of help the lymphatic drainage round there so got rid of a lot of puffiness it's that time of the day when it's very flattering light um but it is very flattering and it had two prongs and it sort of lifted everything here it was only a 45 minute treatment and then finished with the cool lift which is this machine i have to film it for you next time this machine that only does three minutes and it's really noisy. Uh, uh, and it basically feeds oxygen straight into your skin. Leaves us a little bit dry and flaky. Anyway, nothing to do with it now, except to have a good night's sleep. Oh yes, it was my auntie's funeral last night in um, Sydney. So there was a Zoom for us at midnight. So I didn't get to sleep till about two. So I'm absolutely knackered, but the service was wonderful. And that's a good thing about technology, isn't it? I mean, I know it's not the same as being there, but my God, it saved a lot of hours in an aeroplane and a huge expense of flying there. So I'm so glad I saw her in May. And the other thing I wanted to pop in and say was, I told you all about what I'm watching on Netflix and Apple and how good they are as streaming platforms. I completely forgot about Sky, who I work with every couple of months, as you know, and do film, um, film reviews for Sky Cinema, another one coming up early next month. Um, but I completely forgot about Sky, and of course there's amazing stuff on there as well. And I am at the moment binge-watching Cobra, starring Robert Lindsay, who's a superb actor, train spotting. I think that set him off on his um, most famous journey of, uh, I mean, he's such a well thought of actor, but he was first spotted in train spotting um, when he was very young. 
uh, and he plays the Prime Minister. I've missed Series 1 and Series 2, so do tell me if you've been watching that, because I'm finding, I'm finding um, Season 3 utterly compulsive, utterly compulsive, so I should probably go back and watch the rest. So yes, let's not forget Sky as well. Let me know if you're watching Cobra. Right, on that happy note, I'll go back to wherever I was in the vlog. Might be towards the end. Anyway, see you later. It's a lot chillier. Autumn, there's an autumn nip in the air for sure. I think I'll be in a proper jacket soon. But I thought the white belt looked quite nice. And do you remember, can you see white shoes, white belt, still keeping slightly summery vibe going on. But I've got a vest underneath this. But this is the shirt I got with my friend from Paris in that pre-loved shop in Sloan Square. And she bought a dress and I bought this. And it was really cheap and it's been admired several times today by complete strangers. And it was about eight pounds. So worth looking in the posh areas, girls. I've had to ruin my whole look by putting this cheap wind cheetah, what do you call it? Very thin white jacket that I got in Oz. I don't think it's thick enough. Three layers today, vest under my shirt that you saw earlier. Um, but doesn't it look nice? What a bargain. Anyway, I'm in Brighton town, about to meet Mary. I won't film because she hates it. Um, and we haven't seen each other for ages. But I'll just show you all the pretty buildings, bearing in mind it's a very, oh, let's put the hair down. It's a very, very gray day. That's better, isn't it? Um, noisy buses, very gray day but um, I'll take you on a Johnny jaunt. I'm going to take you through the park in the hope that there's a bit of autumn fall around. Do you like the way I always say autumn fall? I just hope there's a little bit of fall around. Uh, Linda, if you're watching, you'll recognize the building on the right, the beautiful pavilion. Soon be there. Oh, squirrel, squirrel. Hello, squirrel. Rats with tails, some people say. Right, put you on wide. Here's the Brighton Pavilion. I'm sorry there's no gorgeous blue sky, but at least it's not raining. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I can see some autumn fall leaves. Put it closer. There you go. That lovely tree. Nope. Flowers still in abundance. Hi. Oh, thank hi. you. Say hi to everyone. Hi. Where are you from? France. Oh, bonjour. Comment ça va? Bien. Bien. Bien jour. Have a lovely day. And you. Oh, they like my hair and my glasses. Good, I'm obviously not looking like an old woman today. I tell you, I felt really invisible in Portugal. Hello. I never have any cash. Look at that beautiful colour. So nice to see autumn fall leaves, isn't it? Let me know how your autumn fall is going, wherever you are. Because we're really south, so we're a bit slow. I've never stopped at this cafe. And if this man is live, He's absolutely brilliant. If this is a recording, then you'll never hear it. Gosh, I wonder if he'll be really famous one day.
okay, this shop has been here for three years. For some odd reason, I only discovered it yesterday. Look, it's all vintage style. Look, you can just see that beautiful scooter. And look at him in his lovely clothes. It's like all mod stuff. Ooh. Hello. I just love this shop. Oh, I love this changing room as well. Look, they've got cinema seats. And there's a gentleman out there who's picked this top for himself as well. Oh, he's gone. That's so funny. Right, I'm going to try those on, but they're going to be too big, I fear. They've run out of my size. Better shout because of the music, but that was too big, but gorgeous. But look at this one. I got the right size. I love it. Obviously, with jeans. I need blue things to go with my jeans. And look how it goes with my hair. Right, I'll dress up for you another time. Hello, gorgeous ones. Regular P. Um, right, I'm going to have to finish the vlog a bit earlier than I wanted to because I've had terrible problems with iMovies that I edit on. I spent two and a half hours today waiting for an appointment at Apple. I have to say, the man who helped me was horrid. He just spent 10 minutes telling me what could have gone wrong. Well, I just kept saying, this has never happened before. He was trying to change the way I did everything. Anyway, he did teach me one very useful thing, but basically I haven't been able to download the videos. Nothing's in order, nothing's been edited, and it's now Thursday night and I've got quite a busy Friday and Saturday. I'm trying the French tuck, as one of you so kindly, oh, I've got the wrong glasses on. Sorry, let's have the whole look. You can tell I'm in a hurry. I've got a live on Instagram in a minute with the aesthetics doctor, Dr. Ahmed. So if there's any way I can share th next week, I will. Otherwise I'll tell you where it is on Instagram because I'll try and keep it. Useful stuff, what can we do? What can we do that's natural, non-invasive? Right, um, this is one way of the French tuck. I quite like this. Um, the other way is all the way in, but don't leave it tight if you're worried about your tummy, as we all are at a certain age. And then you leave the back out. Um, but I like this today. Anyway, what do you think? What I'm doing, which I think you'll enjoy with me, because I know you love fashion above all else. There's Snappy Boy. Hello, darling. You're such a good boy. Everyone loves you, you know. He was so good. I kept shouting at Apple and saying, my dog's been at home on his own for hours, because I had to see the accountant this morning. Um, is he good? Look at him. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Um, anyway, yes. Uh, so what I'm going to do, which you will enjoy, is to go through every outfit. I'm now, this is going to save so much time and effort. I'm now putting, before I go, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to give that away. I'm going to sell that. You know how we all do. Well, I do. I love decluttering my wardrobe. Um, do you find this, those who wear glasses? Putting makeup on is a real pain with glasses. Um, so I'm, I'm putting everything into outfits. This shirt works very well with these trousers and possibly will with my black jeans. So when I find a look that I like, and I like this look, even though I had no compliments today, um, I will put that together. The outfit you saw yesterday, the jeans were the wrong colour. It looks much better with dark denim. Those will go together. So I need to share this with you every week, like I did my summer dresses. So there will be a bit of fashion every week. And also, I'm going to leave it here. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for your lovely, lovely comments, especially about my auntie. Thank you for your lovely comments about Jack and Socks the Fox. You can hear, I still haven't got a normal voice. Um, and I'll see you next week. And don't forget to please do the thumbs up. That's really important. And please subscribe if you haven't already. It doesn't cost a cent. It's completely free. Thank you so much. Good night. Why did I say good night? Good day.